Cricket Wireless presents The Warm Up, and thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Ashley Bullington. We are starting off our coverage of state tournament basketball this week, and we will have some exciting games coming at you as we crown champions and see who will be making the trip to San Antonio on the boys' side. So let's get you warmed up. This year's basketball season is winding down, and I, for one, am going to miss it. This weekend, we see what boys teams are going to make the trek to the Alamo Dome as the regional finals are taking place. The DFW Metroplex has four girls teams going to the state tournament this weekend. So let's preview their state semifinal games right now in the lineup presented by Social Chips and Salsa. The girls' state championships are set for this weekend, and the Metroplex will be well represented with four teams. DeSoto will face number three, San Antonio Clark, in the state semifinal on Friday night at 8.30. That game will tip off after the conclusion of the other 6A state semifinal game between number two, Humble Summer Creek, and number five, South Grand Prairie. We could get an all DFW 6A state championship game if both DeSoto and South Grand Prairie can advance. Number three, Frisco Memorial will face number five, Amarillo, in the 5A state semifinal game tonight at 8.30. The winner of that one will face the winner of the other state semifinal that features a matchup of Cedar Park and College Station. Cricket gives you 5G and all their plans starting at $25 per line for four lines. Switch now and get a spanking new phone now. Smile, you're on Cricket. Warm up your game day with the authentic flavors of ancient cooking. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. I'm so excited to see who brings home a state championship this weekend from San Antonio, but we'll see all the highlights on Inside High School Sports on Saturday. And now it's time for a battle to bring on some great athletes. You'll be seeing on the hardwood, but they're on our show here on the battle. Okay, for the battle this week, before they head to San Antonio, we are having them on with us. We've got some great athletes from South Grand Prairie. Ladies, introduce yourselves. I'm Jocelyn Hartfield. I'm a combo guard, and a fun fact about me is I just love to hang around my family and be with them all the time. Hello, my name is Kiara Ranson. I am a guard, and fun fact about me is I love tea. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, okay. So, I mean, y'all have a big game, but we're going to have a battle here beforehand. Which one of y'all is going to take our trivia championship this week? It's definitely going to be <laughs> now. <laughs> Honestly, so we are going to play some pop culture trivia. And my first question for y'all is, what is the most, what was the most downloaded app of 2021? It's a social app. It is. Oh, wow. Was, was high. Wow! It was a tie! I'm coming hard. Okay, okay. Might have to add a sixth question now. Interesting. Okay, so what does the acronym SMH stand for? Shake my my Gosh darn y'all! <laughs> what is this? Okay. We got three questions left, so somebody's gonna win this. I can feel it. Okay, how many Harry Potter books are there? Seven. Twenty. Yes, it is seven. Ah! Key, <laughs> taking the day. No, I don't like <laughs> Okay, what day is Star Wars Day? May 3rd. No. May 4th. May 5th. It's May 4th. Oh! <laughs> she was so confident when she went into that, too. I love it. Okay. This is our fifth question. <sighs> Who sings the song Say So that's behind the popular TikTok dance? Doja Cat. It is Doja Cat. You are our winner of the battle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, no. ladies. Awesome, ladies. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on Inside High School Sports for the battle. No we'll have highlights of y'all's game this week. So everybody watching, tune in at 6.30 on NBC5. As we said earlier, the boys start their regional tournament play tomorrow. We have a lot of teams hoping to make it to state. So let's take a look at some of the favorites in the hype.
On the boys' side, a couple of upsets have shaken up the landscape in Class 6A. The Richardson Eagles ranked number one since the beginning of the year, lost in a heartbreaker to McKinney. That, coupled with Lake Highlands' loss to Arlington Martin, has made Region 1 the most intriguing in the area. McKinney is now the favorite to emerge, but they'll have to get by perennial powerhouse North Crowley and the winner of Arlington Martin and El Paso Americas. The Lions feature two of the area's best players in SMU commit Alex Anna Mekwe and junior sensation to Colby Walter. In Region 2, the defending state champion Duncanville Panthers remain the overwhelming favorite to get back to San Antonio, but every team that's made it this far is a threat. Behind the state's top junior, Ronald Holland, Duncanville has rarely been tested and they look to be peaking at just the right time. The same can be said in 5A, where the Kemble Knights have lived up to their billing as one of the top teams in the state. Texas commit Artero Morris is one of the most prolific scorers left in the playoffs and hungry to get back for a rematch with Beaumont United. Cricket gives you 5G and all their plans starting at $25 per line for four lines. Switch now and get a spanking new phone now. Smile, you're on Cricket. Playoff basketball sure is exciting, isn't it? And we are going to bring you some great highlights over the next couple of weeks. But now it is time to see what's been highlighting in the world of social media in the buzz. The Coaches Summit was held earlier this week with coaches from around the Metroplex and attendants representing their ISD, including Prosper ISD that had their programs on display. As head coach Brandon Schmidt was one of the speakers but who stole the show? His son, Carter, who gave us the moves. This doesn't have much to do with high school athletics, but it has athletes in it and to do with the Metroplex. How creative is this though? As the students of Harley ACC School in DISD created a living wax museum for Black History Month. They students dressed as famous African-American figures to pay tribute. And so we can tie this back to sports. Even Muhammad Ali was represented. PCU defeated number nine Texas Tech over the weekend. But why do we talk about this? Well, TCU is loaded with former DFW bobblehead winners and Metroplex talent, like Mike Miles, who scored 26 points in this game. That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things inside high school sports, follow our social accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. By following those, we will get you ready for the highlight of the sports weekend. Inside High School Sports, Saturday at 6.30 p.m. on NBC5, hosted by Pat Doney. Thank you for watching the Cricket Wireless Warm Up. I am Ashley Bullington. I hope we've gotten you warmed up for all of the great hoops action that's coming at you this weekend.